Because the money I have to make, the money I have to make in 2024, we're not broken hungry this year. If you're anything like me, your new year will start in February. December was a month in and of itself. December had a lot of things going on for itself. For me, I mean, I did a video on it. I think I was experiencing seasonal depression. And, you know, December just was jam-packed with a lot of festivities and all of that. So, December, you know, was a full month. January is just the month that you used to recover from December. January is just like six months long and you know it it had a lot going on for itself too even though i was feeling feeling a little bit better in january than december i feel like i haven't really recovered from what i was going through last year so for me the year has to start in february and it's a good month to start it's black history month i love black history month and I know it means that I have less time to accomplish my goals and my dreams, but hey, we all have to start somewhere. So today I'm going to be sharing with you nine habits that I plan to develop this year, 2024, to become unstoppable. So the first habit that I plan on working on, I really want to develop a routine and by routine I mean a night routine and a morning routine I mean a lot of statistics show that when you develop a routine you develop certain habits it actually enhances your quality of life and it actually mentally prepares you for uncertainties I want to really hone in on developing a night routine you know what do I want the routine to look like at nights you know when I come from work when I come from the gym you know I'm I really want to hone in on how it is that I wind down at night time you know I don't want it to be so haphazard that I just come on bed and go to my bed you understand what I mean and you know for our morning routine that <laughs> this <laughs> this routine is very important to me because I have to develop I feel like a routine to help me to efficiently get up and prepare for the day prepare for a productive day so to develop a routine is definitely on my to-do list for 2024 the second thing that I want to work on is Bible study oh my gosh my faith is so important to me you can see I was struggling with it a lot in December and you know I this year I did I made the decision to actually focus more on my faith and focus more on studying the Bible I definitely want to hone in on the Bible for myself read it for myself get an understanding for myself I don't want to be told what the Bible says and you know you're showing me an example but yet still you're only showing me one verse I want the entire outlook of what that verse has to offer for me the third thing that I really want to focus on this year, I mean I started last year but I still want to continue it this year, is my fitness journey. So I started my fitness journey last year, May. I have been working out for the most part consistently for um, four times a week at the gym and it has been great. I really am enjoying myself. I have seen a lot of results. I have lost approximately about 30 pounds let me know if you're interested in a video like that I really want to hone in more on the on my fitness journey I have lost the weight I think I still have a few more pounds that I want to lose but no I'm really interested in toning and just shaping the body or I feel like I want the body to be shaped <laughs> so it, this is definitely a part of the habits that I want to form this year and going into the future <laughs> The next habit I definitely want to focus on is reading one book a month. That's just 12 books. When I was younger, I was reading one book a week. But you know, as you grow up adulthood and you know, you're studying and all of that, you kind of lose the interest in reading. But I want to pick up my interest in reading again. I love reading. I always loved reading. And I don't remember when I stopped but I really want to focus on it. It actually helps me to develop my vocabulary and I can notice that when I haven't read, my vocabulary is kind of loose and kind of like down there. But when I read, it's up there. 
I'm using some words and I'm structuring some sentences and you know it's it's a good look for me so I really want to try and develop my habit of reading for 2024 and beyond for this year I am focusing on I want to focus on changing up my diet a bit I did start last year and to be completely honest I didn't stick to it I stuck to it for the most part but this year I want to really focus and be consistent and be disciplined in my diet change the diet that I want to follow is not really a strict diet but I do want to give up eating meat and that includes chicken cow goat pig well I don't eat pig I don't eat pig but you know red meat chicken I'm gonna give up eating those and I want to consistently eat seafood so that's fish and shrimp and lobster I want to continue eating that so I'm actually changing to like a pescatarian diet so the next thing I really want to focus on for this year is I want to develop healthy financial habits <laughs> I think for the most part I am I'm good when it comes to finances I studied finances I work in the finance department I'm good when it comes to finances but for me when I see my finances you know getting a little bit juicy suddenly it, it suddenly it's like Kim it's time to treat yourself oh uh, you don't mind thing for yourself for such a long time you know you have to treat yourself and then when I start treating myself I just treat myself I really really want to focus on developing healthy financial habits and that includes budgeting try and saving I'm really good with saving you know investing and you know all that good stuff I really want to try this year and develop like some really good financial habits the next thing I want to focus on for this year is to develop the projects or the business ideas in my head I've had these ideas from 2021 I believe I had them in my head put them on my vision board all no all no so this is the year I'm actually hoping to start at if it's even one I'm hoping to start one of my business ventures this year and hopefully I can share it with you guys it's really to just focus and figure out which one would be more feasible to start right now in the current economy and because the money I have to make the money I have to make in 2024 we're not broken hungry this year my word for this year is abundance nothing less than abundant abundant living abundance I'm really focusing on an abundant year for this year 2024 another thing I want to focus on for 2024 is I want to commit to experiencing something new every year I mean to know me is to know that I love adventure I love to do new things I love to experience new things cultures traveling I really enjoy that aspect of life but I haven't been living like that for the past couple of years for whatever reason this year is one of my yes years you see when it comes to experiences I'm saying yes to whatever it is that is feasible of course that will contribute to the development of what I think a good life is for me whether it be traveling solo whether it be you know trying something new going staying at a new airbnb or experiencing like the waterfall i've never been to a blue hole before committing to visiting those attractions in jamaica that you see all these tourists enjoying and you just sit down in a year also do what now nah, i'm committing to experiencing something new every month for this year committed so the last thing that I really am focusing on for this year and this is a very big 
goal that I really want to achieve. I would love to do something that scares me. <laughs> and what do I mean by that? There are a lot of times when persons would approach me and ask me if I'm interested in doing something. But because, you know, I'm, for whatever reason, fear, I would say no. I would lose out on the opportunity to develop my the lifestyle that I want to live but this year this year as long as it's feasible this year is the year that I'm going to be saying yes to opportunities and I'm hoping to do something this year that scares me I'm not sure what it is as yet whether it be dining in the sky I've seen that that's in Jamaica now by the way so that could be that could be or like bungee jumping skydiving helicopter rides that scares me a lot whether it be public speaking hmm? whether it be you know whatever it is for me i'm committed to doing something that scares me so for this year this year is looking it, I mean, i'm not gonna lie this year is looking iffy i'm not gonna lie the year started out so iffy. I mean, I'm sick. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I'm kind of nasal. I'm sick. I've been sick twice this month and that has never happened to me before in all my years of living. Two times in one month? No. And I've had car issues. I've had two car issues with my car this month. Right? I mean, the year it has started shaky. But I'm just going to roll with the punches and I'm going to achieve my goals and start my habits so that I can be unstoppable for this year and for future years. That's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out this one. Let me know what you guys think. As always, enough love. Big up yourself. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.